dudes and dudettes, J-Rock here with another episode of my video game pickups sooner than expected, yet again. Which, not a bad thing. That means I'm putting the content out there, Get, getting her done. So this is actually episode 10, into the double digits now. Out of the, 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 the small leagues, into the big leagues of double digits. Ooh, the big 1-0. So, this isn't a really big episode. There's nothing... Uh, Nothing really too big to show. Uh, there would have been, but I made a mistake, and that'll be the first uh, at the end of the first section of my pickups here. Uh, I got a few different console games going on here, so let's go as I like to chronologically. And that is with my my latest craze is the Atari 2600, and I got a few games. Uh, loose, and then I actually got a game boxed, and I'll tell you why. And I'll tell you why it was a mistake. So, I got Defender. Let me just say, also, thanks to my buddy Adam from Replayability for his latest shout-out in his uh, pickup videos. If you like your pickup videos, I don't know, you're watching a pickup video now, maybe you like pickup videos. Go check out Adam's pickup videos, Adam's acquisitions from Replayability. He has a great Let's Play channel with his buddies. They're hilarious. you got to listen to these guys while they're playing great games. Uh, but he gave me a shout-out in his last pickup video because he has been picking up Atari 2600 games. And he noticed that I was getting Atari 2600 games, so he got a lot of the same games, including some of them here. So I believe he got Defender as well as Moon Patrol, which he called Moon Poon. He almost called it Moon Poon before he corrected himself. Uh, moon Poon, mo I almost said Moon Control. Moon Patrol? So, got Atari, Moon Poon, I mean Moon Patrol. I just love the old, uh, the old artwork on these things. It's way better than, than these days. Just a guy with a gun, I've heard it being referred to as. I also I I also don't like the look of these just plain text ones. And uh, also Star Raiders, which there happen to be like 30 copies of at One Up Games. And then I grabbed myself. I I sought out a uh, complete in box. Well, actually not complete. I got it with the box, but I also have a manual coming that I got really, really cheap. But I got Super Cobra for the Atari 2600 in box, and the cart is in great shape. Well, the, the cart has a little bit of a... I don't know if it's like a scratch here. You see it? Or like a melting or something. But the label's in great shape, but this is actually a mistake. I thought this was the first game that I ever played, and it would have been, except this is the wrong port of that game. This is on the Atari 2600, and the graphics are much more primitive than the first game that I played. The version I played was for the later uh, series Atari computers. So. This one does not have as good as graphics and it's not as fun. So I was a little disappointed. And the version that I want, they have on the 5200, which I found complete in box, and I'm getting. So now I'll have multiple copies of this, which is the first game I ever played. So what the hell? I'll keep them for nostalgia's sake. Um, maybe trade fodder later, who knows? But I have a copy of 5200 coming, and apparently 5200 consoles, Atari consoles, are hard to come by. Uh, especially in Canada, I hear, I heard, that it wasn't released in Canada and only in the States. So, I don't know, maybe if one of my States buddies, or anybody, if anybody out there, is there anybody out there? Anybody out there who might have an Atari 5200 that you want to maybe do a deal with me for? I don't know, I've been looking on eBay and just eBay is ridiculous. I am I will spend maybe, I'll spend a hundred bucks, but like on eBay, it's a hundred and fifty bucks to two hundred up. So I don't know for that console. 
So, yeah. Super Cobra for the Atari 2600. Not the game I was looking for. The wrong port. My bad. Okay, onward chronologically to the Nintendo NES. And I got... Oops, let me just make sure. That I have that in order. Nintendo NES, I finally picked up Metroid. Metroid, the original Metroid. I actually never, like most games that I that I showcase on my pickups, I never gave it a solid go. So I am looking forward to getting into it. I'm actually playing Metroid Prime right now for the Cartridge Club, which is the game of the month. And yeah, fun, great, great character. Strong female character, and this is where it all started, and got to play it soon. It's hilarious. I just watched Curtis from Girlfriend Versus did a pickup video. His is called Booty Bonanza. If you like pickup videos, again, talking pickups here, talking pickup videos, uh, which is great because I don't have a lot of pickups to show, but I can talk about the people that I know that are doing pickup videos. Check out Curtis with Booty Bonanza. He just got Metroid as well. So I just watched that and I was like, haha, I got that too. It's hilarious. Picking up the same games as these as these people. Doing videos at the same time. Uh, okay, I also got moving on to Nintendo DS Resident Evil Deadly Silence. Which is like Resident Evil DS. <laughs> Deadly Science Silence DS. Which could be. A very stinky quiet fart but uh, yeah I didn't I wasn't sure what this was at first I'm just I'm going for the whole Resident Evil series right uh, and but I've been I've been made aware that this is a port of the original Resident Evil which you can pretty much play that on anything now so I can play it on the go on my DS Resident Evil deadly silence of course complete And then moving on to the next pickup that I got was for the Xbox, which I actually do not own an original Xbox at the moment. Will soon. Who knows where I'm going to put it when I when I get it. I, I'm running out of console space, but I got Matrix Path of Neo, Path of Neo, and it's a pretty cool holographic case or like like or whatever. It's shiny. It's just shiny. And I hear this is actually better than Enter the Matrix, which I got Enter the Matrix new when it came out. I was pretty hyped for it, and it did disappoint in that it was short, and yeah, it wasn't as uh, fine-tuned as it could have been. So, but I actually hear this is better. Look forward to playing it when I get an Xbox. Not sure how to... I, I, I've heard that there's certain games that are compatible on the Xbox 360, and I looked up see if this is on a list, and it's not. So I need an original Xbox. And then, moving on to Xbox 360 now, that's a good segue from Xbox to Xbox 360, and that is Aliens vs. Predator for the Xbox 360. Now, you can play as... There's three campaigns. Three campaigns. You can play as uh, the Marines, Humans, or the Predator, or the Aliens. So that's pretty awesome. Uh, this is way better than Aliens Colonial Marines. So I recommend it. Uh, if you're into Aliens vs. Predator, you should check out my friend's uh, podcast, Retro Fandango. They did a couple, I think it was spanned over maybe two podcasts, but they covered the Alien franchise and the Predator franchise and their crossovers. So go check that out if you're into it. And if you're and if you have an Xbox 360 or I'm not sure what else this is available on, but this is a pretty cool game. If you're into sort of like it's a first person shooter type game, so if you're into that, but it is with a twist because you can play as a predator and do like I was playing the the campaign as the predator and you can put the thermal vision on and you feel like a total badass. So check that out. 
So those are all the games I have to show, but I have one more thing to show, and it's I, I think it's, uh, it's what I'm most proud of picking up, I think. Most proud. Because uh, it's something that I've wanted for a long time, and it goes towards completing a set, too. And that is a strategy guide, and it is the Final Fantasy VII strategy guide. Oh, and it looks, like, new. Barely, like, worn. You know how you get some that has, like, water damage? Like, the pages are still, like, shiny, and, oh, all the art is just in there. You gotta, you gotta be able to play a Final Fantasy game with a guide so you don't miss anything. I have the guide for Final Fantasy VIII as well as X. Uh, I've had Final Fantasy VIII guide and I've used it for years and it's crucial. Uh, there's so much you can miss. Uh, even though I've played this probably four times, Final Fantasy VII, uh, yeah, it's just, it's nice not to miss things, you know? So. I recommend picking up strategy guides for games that you really love, and so that's something that I've been doing is picking up strategy guides as part of my collecting. I just need to find a good shelf to put them on. I don't have space right here. I had them piled over here. So yeah. Thanks for coming to another episode of J-Rock's Video Game Pickups. Don't have a fancy name for it yet. Who knows? Maybe a suggestion below from you people watching. A, a clever name to do with J-Rock. But yeah, this has been J-Rock with my video game pickups. You keep on rocking them games. Thanks for taking such a keen interest in what I've been picking up lately. If you want some more J-Rock, check out what's been crack a lacking between a rock and a hard place in my weekly vlog. Or if you want to change a pace, check out a couple other cool dudes, Adam from Replayability and Curtis from Girlfriend Versus. They each do a pickup series. Adam does Adam's Acquisitions and Curtis does Booty Bonanza. So if you're into pickup videos, check out these really cool dudes. And once again, thanks to the Nestromancer for this awesome ear gravy. Rock and roll!